Hello buddies, uh, welcome back to Capers Bay Tech. So in the last video I have promised that uh, I'll make a video on which track I opted for in uh, Minnesota. So watch the video uh, till end to know the answer and you'll also be getting a lot of good information. So watching the whole video will be quite worthful. <music> So before getting into the video, let us know what are the various tracks available in uh, computer science and which is the best track to choose in near future. So basically there exist two tracks uh, to opt that is the thesis and the non-thesis track. So first uh, let's discuss about the thesis track. So basically the thesis track is a stepping stone if you want to pursue and continue with your PhD and research work. So there are some advantages and disadvantages to this track. So the first advantage is in some universities, this track is quite flexible and student friendly as you will have an option to choose your subjects. And the second advantage is assistantships. Some universities offer assistantships only for students who have opted for this thesis track. Assistantships like GA, TA, RA are offered for these thesis tracks. And the third advantage is the college fees. Some universities offer a 100% scholarship that's a tuition fee waiver. For example, recently I was watching UDJ podcast and there was a student who informed that students getting into the thesis track in Virginia Tech University get a 100% tuition fee waiver and it's free education for them. And the fourth advantage is that thesis track students gain greater experience in writing, research work and communication and group project skills. So now let's uh, look at the other side of the coin, the disadvantages. So the first disadvantage is the duration of this track is long when compared to the non-thesis track. And the second disadvantage is you should write a research paper and publish your work whereas some students uh, feel lazy in doing this and just want to work after their masters and earn just like me. So it's a disadvantage for them. It's difficult to get into this track uh, when compared to the non-thesis track because it's highly competitive when compared to other tracks available. So now let's uh, look at the other track that is non-thesis track. Advantages of this track are the first one is it's less competitive when compared to the thesis track. Sometimes it's easy to get into this track. The second uh, advantage is the duration of this course is short. And the third advantage is there's only a project on which you should work and there is no need to do research work or publish a paper. And the fourth advantage is similar to the second one. Since the duration of this track is short, the fees may also reduce since the number of semesters you take to complete is directly proportional to the expenses and the fees. Since the thesis track sometimes uh, may go up to 2.5 to 3 years also, whereas uh, the non-thesis track is just uh, 1.5 to 2 years. So basically you will be spending uh, less when compared to the thesis track. And the last advantage is this track helps you to master professional skills and skills required for entering into the computing world and it mainly helps you with technical training uh, with real-time uh, scenarios. So let's come to uh, the disadvantages of uh, non-thesis track. So the first disadvantage is it's uh, not uh, flexible when compared to thesis track in some universities. And sometimes you have to mandatorily uh, do the courses even if you're not interested. You may also not be eligible for some assistantships and uh, this is not true in all universities. It's only in some universities. So these are the main points uh, you should keep in your mind and uh, you should know about these tracks. The thesis track is called Master of Science in Computer Science that is MSCS. And the non-thesis track is called Master of Computer Science that is MCS. So in the maximum number of universities, there is no difference in their naming and they are named as MSCS and MCS. But there are some exceptions. Once let's go through the colleges to which I applied and which track I applied to. So the first one is Arizona State University. I applied to MSCS as there was an advantage that if we don't get MSCS, sometimes they may give us MCS. And there's a slight confusion with ASU that there are three tracks in computer science for ASU. The first one is MCS, that is the non-thesis track. And the second one is MCS. But even in these, there are two tracks, the thesis and non-thesis one. I even checked for the difference between MCS and MSCS non-thesis track, but I didn't find any. If anyone knows the perfect difference between them, comment below your answer as uh, it will be very helpful to everyone. 
So the next universities are NEU, UIC, Sunny Buffalo, Rutgers and Purdue. For these universities, I applied to MSCS as there was no separate track called MCS. I guess after getting an admit, we'll have an option to opt for the uh, MSCS non-thesis track. So the next college is Tamu. I applied for MCS in Tamu. So the final two universities uh, which I applied are first, for Virginia Tech, I applied to M Engineering, which is a Master of Engineering. In this university, it's named differently, that's it, but uh, M Engineering track is same as the non-thesis track. And finally, for the answer which you people all are waiting, the track which I applied uh, at uh, University of Minnesota. The whole point of making this video was for this university as it has some quite uh, confusing tracks. The first track is MCS. It's a non-thesis coursework only program. Everything is same, but when you go through the requirements for this track, they have mentioned that a candidate must be professional working in the computer science field or a closely related field in the United States at the time of application. So this track is only for US residents. So this was the main disadvantage of MCS track in uh, University of Minnesota. Now the second track is MS. There are three options under this uh, MS program. The first one is called Plan A Master's Degree. It's a thesis option. They have mentioned that during the first two semesters, you will focus on coursework and during the second half of your program, you will focus on research for your master's thesis. So this is same as the thesis track that is MSCS. The second one is Plan B Master's Degree. This is a research work-based project only option. So they have mentioned that during the first two semesters, you will focus on coursework and during the second half of your program, you will focus on research for your Plan B project. So it's basically a project-based track. The third subtrack is Plan C Master's Degree. This is a coursework only degree, same as non-thesis and it's uh, applicable even for international applicants. They have mentioned that students will spend the duration of their time attending class to complete the degree. No committee or advisor of the record is uh, required for this plan. Any paperwork that requires an advisor signature should be submitted to the computer science program administrator for signature. So finally, uh, I have applied to Plan C master's degree at University of Minnesota. So basically this track is non-thesis track, that is uh, the coursework only based track. So which track is best, MCS or MSCS? And which track is trending currently? So there is no perfect answer for this question uh, because uh, both the tracks are given equal importance and both the tracks have uh, quite uh, fruitful outcomes. So finally, it depends on you and your decision whether you're interested in a research work and PhD or you want to just get a job after your master's. Based on your decisions and your interest, you can find your favorite track. So that's it for this video guys. Uh, like my video as YouTube will recommend my video to people having the same doubts as you and people who are confused about various tracks and which to select. So maybe they'll get an idea after watching my video and uh, comment your thoughts about the video. So I have received uh, many DMs on Instagram that uh, did I get any admit from any college or uh, like some people are sending their profiles and telling me to evaluate. So the first question, uh, so the first answer is that uh, I have not got any admits yet and not even rejects. So I'm still waiting for my decision. So as soon as I get uh, an admit from any college, I'll make a video about it. And people who are sending your profiles and uh, telling me to evaluate. So it's not that easy to evaluate someone's profile because there are many barriers uh, which we have to consider by evaluating. Like, do you have any uh, filters uh, for fee structure? Or do you have any uh, choice of location? Or do you have any choice of weather? So there are many uh, factors we have to take into consideration and evaluate a profile. So basically people who are sending your profiles to evaluate, you uh, please send even the uh, choices or interest which you have, like the weather, location, the fees. So basically if you send all this, uh, it will be very easy for me to evaluate. Stay safe, stay tuned uh, for the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.